So we're having a really dilemma here. So this is a basically 1.5 1.5 system that charges this, and the batteries were dead. These are two par these are two uh, solar panels that put out 12 volts. This needs just three volts to power it, but this 12 volt doesn't power this motor. And it's strange because we have it connected up right now, and we've tested this with with our voltmeter, right? And does put out 12 volts. I mean, we can. Harry, do you want to do it? Let's show them that it puts out 12 volts because people are going to say it doesn't. So how do we how do we do this? If we uh, let's show this, it puts out 12 volts. So this is a six volt six volt panel, and they are connected in series. So minus no no no. Well oh yeah, we just need to take out one battery. You're right. That will all we need to do is take out a battery. If it'll come out here. Here we go. This way here. Or we can, all right, so now when we check this, check this with this here. Yeah, put that on the, yeah, put that on the window. I'm here with Johannes. We are trying to figure out how to get this stupid little motor to run on solar panels. It's a DC motor. And now if we check the wires here, because this is what's coming from the solar panels. All right. See, there you go. It's 12.5 volts. Now, when we put this battery in here, right, put, keep it on there. All right, so it's 12.5, okay? So when we add this battery in here, something really interesting happening, because we can't figure out what the hell, because we're not electricians, but we have, I think it has something to do with the current. Uh, let's see here. Okay, boom, it drops down to 2.5. Which is, which is the combination of these two batteries, right? Oh, it's 2.6, so it is actually gaining, it is charging. See, yeah, it's 2.6. No, it was yesterday, so. No, it was only 2.5 yesterday. It's gone to 2.6. Yeah. So the, the solar panel is charging these two batteries. But what we really want is for the solar panels to run this thing. So the question is, is what's going on in this, and why is when we don't have the battery connected, we get 12 volts. When we do have the battery connected, we get 2.5 volts. Does it have something to do with the current pushing? So the idea is that maybe these two, the larger batteries have a greater current pushing against the current of the solar panel, thus it is overriding it. I don't know, you tell me.